With a CV that already boasts a Harvard degree and a role in a major Disney movie, Jenny Tullock is no ordinary sailor. She's an Olympic hopeful for 2012, as well as a full-time America's Cup World Series commentator. And over the next few weeks, there are more amazing stories from behind the scenes to be told. And Discovered's Jenny Tullock will tell us more. We're here at the America's Cup World Series. We've actually been filming this morning the pre-race interviews of the skippers with Zach, but we've also been able to get a little bit of this behind the scenes world. All the team bases are all lined up. We've been diving in, getting the team leaders, the physios, the coaches, the shore crew, just the action of what pit lane is, what these sailors and these teams are really doing to get ready for racing. We're gonna try to grab a word here with Grant Dalton, actually. Grant, can we grab? Yeah. Uh, can we bust in and interview you guys while you're getting dressed? We were just at Club 45 and now we're making our way to Oracle Innovation Lab. Uh, so we're going to just see if we can maybe sneak a word with Nathan in here. We're in the Oracle base but we're really trying to bust into the kitchen. Everyone was just having lunch. I think they've sort of just bailed so we might be able to get the coach. We grabbed Peter Burling, uh, first week here racing the America's Cup, youngest skipper by far at age 21. Peter, what's it like? As a sailor, it has been incredible to see behind the scenes this sort of insight that makes these race teams really run at their best. We're not actually meant to be going sailing with them, but we'll take it. You'll be able to see it all in these upcoming programs, but for now, I better get off. Energy team very close to the line. Team Korea pushing from a stern. U.S. women's match racing champion Jenny Tullock was well equipped to join the commentary team for the America's Cup World Series Cash Geish. Team Korea pulled their big sail up and their big sail had too much power. We saw those bows dig hard into the water. You can see almost twice as fast once they're going downwind. 42, 40 kilometers per hour versus the 23 on the upper. Jimmy Smithill inside. He has rights to go around here, but Emirates Team New Zealand with so much more speed. In 2007, a Disney documentary followed the progress of the youngest crew to compete in the legendary Transpac race. Jenny was the only female to make the 11-person race team. Morning Light was epic for me. I grew up a dinghy sailor and a small boat sailor, and I had never even really heard of offshore racing, much less known what it was all about. And so for me to, to sort of leave LA with Hawaii on the horizon, that was a huge deal. That was beginning of two years of ocean racing for me and, and a really good springboard for my future sailing. Well, I'm a sailor, but I'm also here to do commentary, and so I'm learning that, and I think it's gonna be really cool actually to do the commentary from having been on board already. You talk about how cool they are and how fast they are and how physical they are, and you're like, I'm guessing, but I'm sitting in a box doing the commentary on a TV screen, so I'm really excited to get out and actually. Sum the experience up in one word, awesome true sense of the word, awe-inspiring. I love sailing and racing sailboats because you're you're using mentality as well as, well as physicality. Um, you know, you're using the environment, you're using the wind and the water to sort of the detriment of your competitors or to push yourself better. And a lot of ways it's really physical, but a lot of ways it's really, really mental. And it's a really tough challenge. It's a really good sport for that reason. 